Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your BOSU lower body workout. So in this workout, we will use your BOSU balance trainer to train your entire lower body. So we'll be strengthening and sculpting your legs, glutes, hips, inner outer thighs, and your core. All you need for this workout is your BOSU balance trainer and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we are gonna start just marching, roll through those shoulders. We're gonna keep this quick. So we are not gonna do very much of a warm up. If you need it, please get it on your own. Big deep breath in and out. And again, we're gonna be using just your BOSU balance trainer. So body weight and balance and the resistance that we get through that ball, let's roll through our backs. And trust me, it is enough. You are gonna feel it in that lower body and in that core. I do have some other BOSU videos. I am going to link them right here, including one that is a full body workout using the BOSU and dumbbells. Let's tap it out right here. So that's another good one to try if you want to add in some weights as well. I will link that to a big reach over, stretch it out. Again, we're gonna keep this kind of short, working all through the legs, the butt, inner outer thighs, all of it and getting your heart rate up so you'll feel a little cardio as well bring those knees in gentle tug open up those hips and a little bonus core let's do some roll it out there we go and breathe and hamstrings to the back put some back there and then take it out to the front little kicks in front just stretch as long as you can so the bosu is by design a balance trainer i'm going to give you all some options for some of the stuff that is going to be a little more in the balance go ahead and check it out so an example would be some of these lunges what i like to do is be next to a wall or a sturdy chair or countertop if you have that option just because then if you start to feel too unsteady doing something like this you can always place a hand right there. I'm gonna give you some options to build it. You can always stay with that very first option, whatever works for you. So we're gonna to start toes forward, one foot up on top again. You can be here with your hand on the wall or make sure you get a little bit of balance. Toes are sort of in alignment, so not too far back. And we're just going to squat it down, squat it up. So my Bosu actually probably could use a little bit of air in it, but you want that top leg to be pushing through that resistance, but you still wanna be getting as low as you can. So really drop those hips, drop it low. Let me show you from the side, down and up. So not just here, really get it low. Let's go four more, four and up, three, two, one more. And then watch me here, we're gonna step it up. So what you're gonna do, watch how I stay low. What I'm not doing is coming all the way up, feeling off balance, stay by the wall if you need to. I'm just tapping it up. So my top leg is still staying a little bit bent here. Uh, this foot is staying right in the center of the ball. Let's go four more. If you want, you can just keep that foot on the ground. Totally fine. Last two, one more and shake that out, right? So we feel that kind of quickly. Let's walk around to the other side of the ball and we'll do all of that again. You also feel that heart rate for cardio, right? So one foot up on top, toes in alignment, start with that deep squat, drop the hips and down. See, so once we take it to that step up, feel free to stay here if you want, if that feels better for balance for you, drop it down and up, down and up, breathe up and really get those hips low push through both of your heels but especially that top leg is where we're gonna feel it a little bit more four more right here four three two let's step it up right here keep it low if you want if that balance feels like too much just keep the squat you're still gonna feel that burn you're gonna feel a little shaky that means you're doing it right. Don't worry. Push through the heels, stay low, breathe. Down and up. Let's go four more. Four, drive through the heel. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake those out, right? Feel that all the way through. 
So let's go back to that first leg and this time we're gonna turn it into a lunge. So this does get a little trickier. So I'm gonna give you some options on the wall if you can. We're holding on to something and it's gonna look like this. It is tough on the balance, I'm not gonna lie. So your option is here or just do a small little bend. You can keep it really small if you can get low. You can also touch and bring it up. That helps with balance once you get here, but it also forces you to get low, right? And breathe, so touch if you can. Let's go four and up, three, two, one more. Now we're gonna step it up. Try it once if you feel too shaky with balance, keep it here. I actually think it's a little bit easier because it's not a lunge, it's just a tap up. Push into that heel again. I'm staying nice and low and forward. I'm barely moving through that top leg. I'm just pushing into the heel. Breathe, tap, and up. Good. Let's go four more. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out, right? Woo, feel those legs, feel that heart rate. Since we're here, go ahead and switch to that other leg. So starting with the deep lunge, keep it small, keep it with balance, drop it down. So just switch your legs. You actually don't have to go around to the other side because you can still be balanced here. You can keep it small or touch it down, bring it up. I actually prefer if you touch, breathe and up. There we go, ah, right? Let's go four and up, three, two, one more, tap it up right here, tap and down. Again, I think this is a little easier than the actual lunge. Just pull that core in tight, hand on the wall if you need to, up and down, breathe. You should feel shaky, that's on purpose. Last four, four, three, two, one, shake it out, Ooh, right. Feel that all the way through, catch your breath, quick sip of water, Whew. heart rate is up, right? Quick sip of water, shake that out, and we are going to come on the BOSU, both feet on top, okay? So we're here, so again, you're gonna feel a little shaky, if, even if you're like this, that's normal. Weight in the heels, I want you to take it small and up. If this feels like too much, take it nice and wide and just do this squat. Touch it down, down and up. But if you can, squat and up. Again, I'm not coming all the way up. This is gonna put us off balance. I'm dropping low. Please take it to the floor if you don't feel steady. This is actually really good for strengthening our joints, our knees, our ankles, our hips. They use it in rehab and physical therapy all the time. But if you don't feel steady, take it to the floor. Down and up. Four more right here. Four, three, two, one more. And relax, shake that out. Woo, right? Feeling it all the way through. So just do little taps on top while we shake out those legs and breathe. And we are going to take it back to one foot on top, this time toes out, so a little more inner thighs. And we're here, drop it here, touch it down, bring it up. If you can, you can touch the BOSU, squeeze up and in. Again, use that wall for balance. I know we're feeling it, breathe, squeeze and up. Pull up and in, inner thighs, squeeze. Eight more right here. Touch and up, touch and up. Breathe. Last four. Four, three, two, and one. Relax, shake it out, take it to that other side. Almost time to take it down to the mat. As I said, we are gonna keep it Small, Whew. toes out, here we go. Touch the BOSU or the ground, whatever is best for you. Squeeze up inside, inner thighs, 
down and up. Breathe. Really get deep if you can. Drop the hips. So even though we're going a little bit forward, what we're not doing is leaning in our back. Really get low. Down and up. After this, we're on the mat. Lots of hamstrings, inner, outer, a little bit of core. Four, three, two, one more. And relax, shake it out, right? Woo, all right, shake it out. Quick sip of water, down onto the mat. We're gonna start with our bow suit just like it is. Go ahead and come down on your back. Feet on top, Woo. right here. We're here. Slide really close into your BOSU. So you want almost your hips right in front of it and feet are gonna be right on top. And just start with your basic bridge. So you're just lifting up as high as you can, drop it down. So you're gonna feel that pretty tightly in those hamstrings and glutes and breathe, lift up, really squeeze. Get as high as you can, good, and breathe and lift. I know they're tired, but we're almost done. So really squeeze up and down, breathe, up. Let's go four more, four, three, two, hold this one at the top. Watch me right here, touch knees in and out. So inner thighs, outer thighs, while we keep the glutes and hamstrings working and core in tight, I know they're burning. Inner thighs, outer thighs, hips up and breathe. And up, four more, four, squeeze, three, two, one, and relax. So take those feet up, stretch right here. And just to get a little stretch through that little bonus core, take it here, little pull in, either on the calf or the thigh. We're getting a little bit of core and also stretching out those hamstrings because we're gonna stay right here with them. Breathe. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax. Good. So slide it in nice and close. This time we're gonna cross one over. If this starts to feel like too much for that muscle or the joint, or if you start to cramp, just take both feet, take a little stretch break and go back to that regular bridge we just did. If you can, cross it over. We're just gonna lift and lower. Not very many, I promise. And breathe up and down. Let's go for four and up. Three, two, one. Switch your legs right here. Take it down for eight and squeeze. Seven, six, lift and five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good stretch those up again. I know, right? Woo, roll it up. We are almost there. Take it to the side. So your elbow is going to be on top. Knees are here. Watch me. Feet glued up, clamshell down and down. If this feels like too much, take the side plank out of it and just be here. Just lift and lower outer thighs if you can. Down and down, up. Three more right here. Three, lift. Two, last one, up. And then just hold it up, pulse eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Swing that bozo around the other side. We are so close, right? So we're here, elbow on top, knees are stacked, feet are glued together, up, up, down, and down. If it's too much, just do the clamshell, if you can, all the way up. Up, up, down, and down, up, Four more, right here. Four, breathe. Three, last two, one more. 
hold it up right here or down. Pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good. So open up those knees and those hips. Very last thing, we're gonna flip our Bosu over. Last thing, feet here. Heels on top, again, slide yourself in close. One last little bridge. We're gonna do like we did before. It's gonna feel a little shakier. So again, if it starts to cramp, take it to the floor, flip it back over, whatever you need to do. Just start with that lift and lower. It's gonna be unsteady. That's the idea. Core is working hard. Hamstrings and glutes are working even harder. So it should feel shaky. Lift high and low. Pull that core and squeeze in your butt. Up, back of the legs. This is what we love about this. Four, squeeze, three, two, hold it up. Let's go inner, outer, touch them in, take them out. Keep those hips high, squeeze, in and out. Four more, remember this is your very last thing, then we're done. Three, two, one, relax. Bring one foot up. Ooh, my shoe came untied. Grab either the calf or the thigh, flex the foot, pull it in. There we go, yes. Woo, right? Bring it in, should feel a little shaky. Switch your legs, other side. Calf or thigh, doesn't matter. Bring it in. Cross it over, reach underneath, pull it in. side cross it over get that hip right very slowly make your way up onto your feet take your time coming up right ha ah, my hair is all over the place lean into that inner thigh and the other side as always get more of a stretch on your own. Grab the wall if you can, get a little quad stretch, or you can do it standing, one arm, arm out for balance. Please make sure you check out my other BOSU videos and all my other videos. I have everything from kettlebell to dumbbell to TRX to body weight, beginner, low impact, prenatal, postnatal. If you like it, make sure that you subscribe. That helps me out. Other leg. And leave me a comment below, let me know. Deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your BOSU lower body workout. Great job, everybody.